Hello and welcome to episode 94 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is going to be on us building a bridge. Now with this episode I first of all want to thank everyone that you can see in my local listed here. So Lady Nolo, Little, Little Moofy, Star Grunkle, William and especially Dinah. Dinah has been busy collecting all the resources for us uh, to be able to make this episode and this episode is only being made because of Star Grunkle and Dinah. Um, they realized that I hadn't done bridges yet I spoke to them a while back about doing a bridge but with bridges you have to ideally have two people in order to make a bridge although in the forums it does mention and Star Grunkle did mention that you can um, go and use the range pole and then come back and use the dioptra with the range pole but it is very difficult so thank you to Star Grunkle for pointing that out now the way that we're going to proceed with building this bridge is this I'm no bridge expert never built a bridge before in my life in the real world and in worm I've only stuck to land bridges in the past so it's thanks to everyone here that's with me all their help all their advice You'll see here me standing before this um, river and you'll notice either side that the, uh, the start of the bridge, the tile where you begin to build your bridge is flat. You will also notice that if I highlight to uh, activate my shovel that you have a 10 slope down. That is what you have to have for the uh, first tile of your bridge, a minimum of 10 slopes down. Now, when you start building your bridges, you it's like somewhat like uh, when you start your deed. You remember with the deed episode, when you the first step with doing a deed is you have to survey. And I want to thank Lady Nalo and uh, Rainstorm for this because they was the ones that pointed out that surveying for a bridge is very similar to surveying for your deed. So the reason you have to survey is because of all the obstructions that there can be in the landscape around you. For example, if there were trees in front of up in front of me that you see, they would obstruct us building this bridge. If there are branches or a house underneath, they would be obstructions. So you do a survey to find an ideal area for you to build your bridge. And then you use the build option, which we're going to get to in a moment, which actually then highlights any problems, any obstructions. And what will happen is, if there was an, an obstruction in between me and Star Grunkle, who's holding the range pole, then it would stop the process. So right, with all that said, the first step is you survey. The second step, as you're going to see, is that um, the dioptra will then, I will then choose to, to plan the bridge. So <clears throat> enough waffle, let's give it a go. So if you're ready, Star Grunkle, I'm going to now right click on you and do the first step. So there you go, you see Star Grunkle with the range pole. We just <laughs> he just placed it in the ground. I'm now going to activate the dioptra, which you can see in my pocket there. Notice the quality level. The quality level of the dioptra and the range pole will determine the length. I'm now going to click plan bridge because if I don't and I waffle too much, Star Grunkle's stamina will run out and that will end the process. Notice now that I've done that uh, right clicked and plan. There's a planning a bridge timer going along. The same length as if you're fishing, two minutes. And you will see all the messages that are going by. Basi Hello, how are you? Basically, what it's doing is it's testing. Um, it's giving Star Grunkle a wave, as you can see, with a range pole. And now it's doing all tests to make sure there's no obstacles in our path. Um, well, I mean, the, the, the lines speak, the, the text speaks for itself. You check the heights. Both ends of the bridge have to be the same height. A star Grunkle pointed out that uh, if they're the same height, it will say nice or something like that, if I remember correctly of what Star said. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. Both sides of your bridge that you're building have to be the same height. 
and they have to be flat tiles with a slope of a minimum of 10 down. So there we go. Okay, you see that the dioptra is still going through, scanning ahead of me. It's checking items that are in the way. It's checking I have permissions to build the bridge. It's letting us know Dinah's riding his horse. It's checking the bridges that may interfere with this bridge. And now it's checking there's no buildings under the bridge. There we go. So it's now popped up a plan bridge window. And this is where you can decide on what type of bridge you want. So now Star Grunkles told me already that he would like an arched brick bridge. And thanks to Dinah, we have all the materials to make this uh, arched brick bridge. And I believe it's a lot of materials because I think he mentioned that he'd got a thousand bricks. And thank you as well to Lady Nalo for helping with them bricks towards the end. And thank you to Little Moofy for paying us all a visit and boost boosting our morale in building this bridge. So I'm going to select the arched brick because I know that's what uh, everyone wants. Click next. There were, there were all different types of bridges as you could see. You choose whatever you want for this um, tutorial. The example we're going to be making is an arched brick bridge. Okay, now that that's done, it wants to give the name. So, um, Rainstorm, what name did we decide on for the bridge? Because I don't know. I have no clue. <laughs> you that's want it called No Clue? <laughs> or I Have No Clue? <laughs> Which do you prefer? <laughs> I thought it was, um, let me see, on the map. Okay, while late. While Rainstorm's checking that, I do know that Star Grunkle wants a steepness of 10. Um, you will see the steepnesses because once we've finished uh, building the bridge, then Rainstorm's going to teleport me so I can show you the three other bridges that Star Grunkle and Dinah have been building across the land. And you will see what an amazing job that they've done of them bridges. So we're going to choose a steepness of 10. Again, you may trial and error what steepness you want, but hopefully by showing you the other bridges, you will see, because I believe Star Grunkle said they, the other bridges were 15. So we'll, you'll be able to see that. Call it West Lake Channel Bridge. West Lake Channel Bridge. Okay, thank you, Rainstone. Okay, so we've given it a name, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, we've given it a name, we've chose the steepness, now that we're satisfied, we're going to finalise. And you'll notice here up the top, before I skip that bit, that it's telling us the area is 10 tiles long and 2 tiles wide. Now I will, at the end, read to you a little from the wiki with what it says notes wise just in case there's anything that I've missed for now I'll click finalize when I do that you see now that we have a structure and now of course we're gonna need to add the materials okay what is the next step that we need to do anyone Right click on the bridge. Have uh, your trowel. Ah, uh, trowel. Ah, uh, trowel. I don't have a trowel. <laughs> I've got a shovel. <laughs> I'll bring you mine. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Lady Nalo. Oh, you got. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. I didn't. I didn't even think about what tool we'd need. Fortunately, I've shown making tools before of uh, the trowel before. Right. Okay. So we activate the trowel. Right click the bridge and we will add to the crafting window. Oh, okay, too far away. Let's get a bit closer. Hopefully not fall down the bank. OK, 
Okay, so there's the crafting window. Now there is all the materials we will need. Bear in mind that this bridge is 10 tiles long and two tiles wide. And that is the amount of materials. So we are gonna need 90 mortar, 90 bricks, 36 rock shards, two additional bricks and 10. So what's that, 102 bricks in total. Okay, let's start adding the materials. Now, can everyone add the materials or is it just me? Does anyone know? Everyone can. Everyone can, well, fantastic. Then that mean that I'm not here for three hours <laughs> building it or you're not all. Where are the materials in this wagon? You'll notice Dino has ki kindly named the wagon our Department of Transport, Roads and Bridges because we do have a Department of Transport in our world. Okay, let's grab some materials. In the large crates. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you, Dino. Right, okay. There we go, so let's get the heavy stuff, the bricks done first. Now, at this point, thank you to Dinah for mentioning this earlier, but when you're building your bridge, up to this point, you are safe to stop. As soon as you add one component to the bridge, you're committed to building your bridge. I guess you can still destroy it after that, but if you don't want to waste all your materials, then um, if you're not happy with any aspect of it, then stop at this point before you start adding materials, because obviously you don't want to have to make another 100 bricks. So anyway, we know that this is good, so I'm going to get close enough and then start adding. It's a shame that the wagon's just slightly out of my range to... Ah, there we go, right. So we'll add the materials and we'll add the trowel. No. All right, there we go. So let's continue. Ah, okay. Start, it's giving me, it's telling me I need to activate the correct building tool and I've got my trowel. Is this a different tool that I need to activate? No, do you have your trowel in your crafting window? Um, I'll add it. Last time I added it, though, I believe... Yeah, when I add the trowel to the crafting window, it removes... Unless I need to add it to the right side. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. I'm glad that I am making these mistakes because it allows everyone to see the mistakes and learn by them. Right, okay, so there's the structure on the left. On the right, you place your trowel, and then, of course, you must have the materials in your pocket. And now we may continue. No. Ah, you cannot work on the bridge part when not standing on the bridge. Okay, so I need to stand on the bridge. I've got a feeling I'm going to go tumbling down this bank in a minute, but anyway. Right, let's try again. Need to back up. Oh, I need to back up, so it's saying I'm standing on the bridge. Yeah, back all the uh, way up to the very edge. I misread it. Right, let's try from there. No. Try from there. No. So you can see you've got to get exactly the right distance from it. I was too far away and I was too close. Do I need to stand off to one side of it then? Because when I back off of it completely, it says I'm too far away. And when I'm standing on it, it's saying I'm too, I'm standing, I must stand off of it. I think it's not right here. Yeah. Cannot work on this. Which, uh, which section did you right click on? Ah, 
Was that important? I run it right, yes. right click on the middle of it somewhere. No, click on the one right in front of you, right on the edge. It's the very first part. It should say uh, uh, bridge a button or something like that. Thank you. Or double a button. Thank you very much. Right, that's what the problem is. So you can see the mistake I made. I right clicked over there. What you have to do is each segment of the bridge as you build it, you must do it in the correct order. So this very first piece, I'll add that. And now let's try. So let's move off of the tile. and try again there we go oh, okay I need mortar at least this is showing everyone how involved building a bridge is and all of the mistakes that you can possibly make so let's drop a couple of bricks back in the wagon Let's grab some mortar and then we should be good to go. Did I get some mortar? Yeah, let's try again. And there we go, bridge building. Right, excellent. So now I'll just keep adding. Have some more bricks. What skill does this use? Oh, this is using masonry, isn't it, Star Grunkle? Fortunately, if yes. I sh show, I've got a masonry of 80. Um, yeah, it's using the masonry. And fortunately, I've got a high masonry, but I mean, we're only 10 tiles long, so. I'll read at the end from the wiki what the uh, skill your masonry has to be for the distance. And for 10 tiles, it's not really that bad. I mean, 104 bricks, I think I said, and the other materials are quite in substance, in hardly any materials compared to what we're actually getting here. Nice huge bridge and few materials. Very impressive bridges. Actually, it's only one section. Oh, you're kidding me. So for each section, we need all of that. <laughs> well, you need more for a double abutment than for the floating section. Oh, yeah, I each one requires a different amount. Oh, thank you, Star. You are a star in actual fact. <laughs> So you can see it's going to take time. See, I've always burnt bridges. I've never actually built them. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll build this first little section of the bridge and then what I think would be a good idea is if every segment is the same in the process then once you've seen the first segment you've seen how to do all of the bridge so once i've got this first segment done then i'll get rainstorm to teleport me to the other bridges that star grunkle and diner have been busy making so you can have a look at their marvelous work So, Star, Star, how long did the other bridges take you to build? Do you know? Did you set a timer? No, I didn't set a timer. We always had two people working on them. So oh, right. Two hours. Two hours, right. Okay. So, as you can appreciate, everybody out there, you're being 
saved two hours of me waffling and I'm sure you all appreciate that for sure. Yeah, we even have a community warehouse now because all of the guys here you can see in the list in front of me um, built uh, channels, a channel. Is it more than one channel, uh, Rainstorm, or just uh, more one channel that you all built? Anyway, they set up a community warehouse with all the materials that they've been getting. It's a real very good community that we have on our server and I do hope uh, a lot of you that are actually watching this video get a chance someday to come and meet these people that are here with me because I'll tell you something you're in for a big treat if you do meet them lovely lovely bunch of community people very sociable and very helpful and there we go there I believe oh no I need a few more bricks we are nearly done with this part of the bridge Um, let's see, what am I missing? Don't forget to tell them that they need to have their, um, their early warning alarm set before they do this. I thought you was joking about the early warning alarms. What, what oh, you... no, 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 no. Oh, can you explain that? I have no idea then what that is. I must have missed all of that conversation. We have tamed roosters on either side of the bridge to let us know if uh, wild animals come up. Ah. So cool. they warn us they'll, they'll get attacked first before we will. Oh, what a good idea. Well, thank you, uh, Rainstorm, for mentioning that. That's uh, Dinah's and Star's uh, early warning system. It's been patented. Well done, guys. Well done. Well, I think this first bit of the bridge is done, isn't it? Because it's not letting me add any more bricks to it, even though it's saying... Close, back up a little bit. Yeah, the one on the left is done. The one on the left is done. Right, thank you. Yeah, so I, I thought that when the graphic changed. So I'll close that window. It's because more than one person's adding the components to it, which I'm very grateful for, because otherwise you'd have just... I'd have had to have just waffled... In con, in con, con, I can't even say it, but I just had to have kept waffling. Right, there we go. There's the first segment. Now, for the rest of the bridge, you just carry on the same as the first segment there. And you'll eventually end up with what I'm going to show you once Rainstorm teleports me. If we could show the stone one first, uh, Rainstorm, and then we can go on to the wooden one and the other one. Thank you. Give me a moment. Thank you guys for helping with that uh, first section. And thank you for all the help you've given with this episode. You're it's very welcome. <laughs> thank you. It's thanks to you that it was made. I will be back and help with the rest. Don't worry once I finish recording. <laughs> oh, I better put the materials back in the wagon before Rainstorm teleports me. Uh, nearly just trying to put them back in the right crates I don't want to mess up their um... cool, tremendous amount of materials ah Lady Nalo I'll, I'll give you your trowel before I go because I can get my trowel once I get teleported back alright um... right here by the rooster alright there's the early Look. warning system <laughs> Right. Thank you, Lady Nello, for lending me your trowel. Are you ready? Um, Nelly, I'm just giving the trowel back. I like to return things I borrow. There we go. Thank you. Right, I'm ready. Okay, so there's the bridge we're building. What I want to show you is what uh, Star Grunkle and Dinah have been doing all over the landscape. Three other beautiful bridges.
Okay, so here's bridge number one. Now this check. Is Central Lakes. This is where, sorry? Central Lakes. Central Lakes. So if I bring up the map to show you all. We're near um, Gray's Lake. Uh, who's? Gray's Lake. Gray's Gray, Lake. Gray Wolf. Uh, where was Grey Wolf? I can't remember where Grey Wolf went. Okay, if you are looking at the map, yeah. on the right side you'll see, kind of in the middle, you'll see a golden star. It says Central Lakes Bridge. Next to the two red ones. Found it, right, okay, Central Lakes Bridge. We're up that one, are we? Okay, for all of you watching then, that's exactly where I am, and look at how beautiful that bridge is. That is what Star Grunkhorn Diner built. Was that your first bridge that you guys built? No, this is the second one. This is the second one. But as you can see, this is uh, an arched brick bridge, like the one we, we were building a moment ago. And so you can see, without having to wait for several hours, um, the finished result and you can see the added touch of them putting the lumps across the bridge and how beautiful this looks I mean I don't care how long any of you watching searches for another game where you can get so much enjoyment out of terraforming and transforming the landscape I wish you luck in trying to find a game that will be better and more satisfying than Worm because I tell you now, you will not find another game that gives you the enjoyment that you can have with this game, which is Worm. I mean, just look at that. How beautiful is this bridge? And of course, it's not just pretty, it has function. Because not only can boats go underneath, of course everyone now can easily get across this lake. Okay, if you're ready, we'll go when you're ready. Um, I'm going to teleport you to the first stone bridge. This is um, from the west continent to the central continent. Right, thank you. That's about 20 tiles, isn't it, this one? Looks about 20 tiles long. This is the first one they built. Oh, this is the first one. Good choice guys, I'm making it two tiles wide, definitely good choice. And do you remember about me saying about the steepness? So that's something to factor in. This is a steepness of 15, as Star Grunkle told me earlier. So bear that in mind, if you do not want like a, a humpback bridge, which is what I would compare a, a steepness of 15 and 20 as this sort of big hump in the middle. You may want to either choose 5 or 10 if you want to lessen that uh, hump so it's more of a flattened bridge. But of course the choice is yours. I'm heading over to the other bridge now. Oh thank you. So this is the first bridge they made you can see that this one is much shorter than the last bridge we were at you can see that the skills that they picked up in building this first bridge allowed them to get more bolder and braver and expand their bridge building skills by making one twice as long this one might be hard for people to see because there's no lights yet but it will oh I'll turn on my lantern that may help a little And here we are, so you've seen two stone bridges. This bridge is a beautiful wooden bridge and it's in Pirate's Cove. So it's called Pirate's Cove Arched Wooden Bridge. So let's show you this one. I don't know whether you prefer the brick or the wood, but to me, they both look as beautiful as each other. Of course, you can make marble bridge, you can make a rope bridge, um, what are the other ones? Let's see if I can remember. So you can make a rope, a flat brick, an arched wood, 
wood and an arched brick. So with the flat brick and the flat wood, of course, you'd have no steepness to choose. The steepness only comes into account with an arched wood and an arched brick. Uh, the wiki doesn't actually show a marble option for bridges, but I believe when we just built it at the beginning there it showed an option for marble. So, and this one is even longer, isn't it? Wow. Oops. There we go. Fall down the bank. Did you see me fall down, um, Rainstorm? No, I'm actually teleporting. Did we show them the channel? Ah, yeah. No, we haven't. Let's show the channel next. So there we are, a beautiful wooden bridge. So now you can make an informed decision as to whether you want a brick bridge or a wooden bridge. I will leave the rope and marble for you, for you to try yourselves, but at least now you've had a chance to see a wooden and a brick bridge. And of course, you've got Dinah and Star Grunkle to thank for that. Thank you guys for spending so much time and effort making the landscape a lot more prettier and also accessible. And next we're going to show you the channel that they everyone's been building. Who's been building it, Rainstorm the channel? Who's uh, all the... Same, same road makers, the DOT. <laughs> <laughs> that would be Dinah and, and uh, but Star Grunkle and Lady Nalo and oh. I did a little bit in here as well. Yeah, so all four of you. But it, it was started by Star yeah and uh, thank you to Lady Nalo I haven't been mentioning her but I'm quite sure that she's helped with everything that's been been done and to you Rainstorm here's the entrance to the channel ah yes now this I have to say is most impressive if I can step back here a bit you can see that at the entrance to their channel they've put uh, statues of trolls and you can see here what they've done is they've made a passage through the mountain for every size boat every size boat will fit through this channel you can see they've reinforced the floors to stop it collapsing and you can see that they've made paths on each side of the channel so you can also go by foot or by horse or wagon so you've got a choice, you can either use the boat channel and look at how pretty that looks. I mean, amazing job. And there's the community warehouse over there. Is well, that no, the community? It's oh, it's not. No. Mm -mm. Oh, that's this, just some... This is all the leftover stone from when we had to mine in here. And there must have been a lot of leftover stone. Well, oh, there is. <laughs> but look at this, what a good job everyone's done of it. You know when you're on a good server with a good community because they all pitch in together and they all have as much fun as each other. And trust me when I tell you all, you could not do a project this big unless you're having a lot of fun. There's just no way. How long did it take uh, to do this then? Um, I know I've put at least seven or eight hours in it myself. Yeah, so I don't know how many hours star them all get in. I imagine a lot of hours. But again, look at how creative you can all be playing the wonderful worm. Uh, you can even put pillars in your channel. Fantastic. Yeah, job. we're gonna go through and add make it look nice. It's Moria. That's Moria. Ah, oh, this is Moria. Excellent. We need a couple of dwarves in outside, don't we? Statues of dwarves, but I guess there isn't none, is there, at the moment? No. Oh, well. Uh, I'm going to teleport you to the, um, the warehouse. That'll hmm. be the last. Yeah. When you're ready. Yeah, I've uh, shown enough of this. Fantastic okay. job, everyone on the channel. Really fantastic job. Absolutely brilliant. Of this which... This is our central warehouse. Ah, oh, fantastic. We'll have all the material for server-wide projects. And then we have carts down here 
Yeah, I see the carts all lined up. That's good. I like that. And we have a loading dock down here so you can pull up your boat. I was going to say, do you have the pier? Then go get your stuff and then take it back down and just drop the cart back off. Oh, I see. So your pier is going to be where the carts are. And they're there. Yep. All right. Okay, right cool. Right below the carts is where the boats come in at. Okay. But if you go in here, we have um, it all set up. Great. Grey Wolf is the one who designed the warehouse. Oh, did he? Well done, yeah. Grey Wolf. Yeah, very good. I like the layout. And this looks exactly how a warehouse should look. Fantastic and we'll have, job. Uh, signs here that tell you what's in each of the bins. So. I see. Yeah, very, very good. It's really coming along all of the work that you're all doing on this server. It's a good we're job you back it up all the time. I'd hate yeah. to lose this. We're trying to make it nice for when we open it up to everybody else if they'll have a nice environment to play in. Hmm. Hmm. We just need to work out adding an, an adventure server to it. Yep. Right, okay. I, I'm, I don't know how long I've been recording. and So I guess I had better finish here. I'll just check the wiki, make sure there's nothing important I've missed. Can anyone think of anything else that I should have added about bridges? Or do you forever, forever hold your peace? Um, if you're going to build a bridge that is more than one tile wide, yeah, um, you need to have the range pull on one corner and then the diopter needs to be a uh, caddy corner from it to get the width. Thank you very much, uh, Lady Nello, for uh, mentioning that. Fantastic. Was someone else going to mention something then? No? I believe the minimum length would be like three tiles and the minimum height above the water, like ah thank you William so minim minimum length for a bridge is three tiles and you have to be a minimum of uh, ten tiles from the water did you say or was that a steepness of ten I believe it's ten tiles from the water yes thank you thank you very much so there we have it uh, I believe uh, that that is all the important stuff that bridge will be finished in a moment once I get back there and help the others um, there is a lot more information on the wiki I would point to any of you watching this episode I would strongly recommend going to the wonderful wormpedia because bridges are quite a recent uh, addition to worm and so the wiki is definitely up to date when it comes to bridges and there is everything on there to complement what I have shown in this episode. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this episode on bridges and thank you to everyone that is here with me on Rainstorm and my server. Thank you. Goodbye.